Boom! Hello, the ladies and gents. And yeah, as you can as you can hear, I got Mike on the screen. And actually, Mike, you know what, buddy? Be quiet. Boom. Oh, he listen. He get quiet. There you go. You got thumbs up for being polite. Anyway, so what's the topic of this video, ladies and gents? Ow, move yourself. Uh, this evening, we're going to talk about the population of the circuitry. And this is basically endless topic, as we all know, because uh, how many scrappers, that many ways of depopulating circuitries. There's plenty ways. There is uh, heat gun or compressor air gun. This is something new for me. Uh, I just trying to find it out. Those multi cutter tools. Uh, there is heat guns. There is chisel. There is uh, just scraping off. There is uh, where it is. Those thingy I used for hot sun bath. And yeah. My favorite so far, of course, depend of what I depopulating, is the compressor gun. As you can see, I got some boards, and actually, last time Scrapping Irish showed me such a kind of such kind of machine, and he depopulate the whole circuitry with that. I did check it out, I did test it, and I'm not totally satisfied with that way of depopulating of course it's less noisy than compressor but it's much more messy uh, in other way it's also got some positive sides uh, if we for example uh, are into motherboards we got plenty PCI and ESA slots to take away from the motherboard. This is some kind of riser boards As you can see from the PC or server, maybe Dell branded Intel chip on it And yeah, that's just standard somehow some kind of circuitry anyway uh, This gun will work on all those connectors for sure, but it's not gonna be as Milky Way or easy uh, like we all want it to be. Anyway, uh, this thingy that's not gonna be as cool on depopulating the whole things because this thing leaves a lot of dust, a lot of mess, and yeah, a lot of tiny particles. These things just rip away all the components. Though, as we come with the compressor to those connectors, you got to put quite a lot of force to cut this away. And yeah, let me present you because yeah, there is no meaning to me yapping all the time and explaining what it's just easier to show. Okay, I'm gonna set up my camera right in here and maybe slightly tilt it, lift it and I'm gonna show you how I depopulate the components because components with this gun it's awesome just boom, it's off boom, BGA off two IC four IC, they are off of course, it does take a little bit practice uh, before, you know, it's quite powerful and as you put it on it and if you, for example, want to take away only this one and not hit any of those capacitors, you need to practice a little bit to stop before the capacitors. Just like so, instead of going all the way and cut them all out. Okay, so that's the um, positive on... Uh, air compressor as we come to these parts in here that's not that easy same as with the motherboard of course we got tiny rivets here tiny rivets here but it's going boom it's 
possible. So, you got to put quite a lot of effort to take it out. <coughs> okay, so that's the positive and negative for the compressor air, uh, air gun. Let's take those multi cutter and try to get rid of this uh, PGA and there's two crystal oscillators. It will do, but as well, look at it. Boom, see how much dust is left. Look at that. All this dusty stuff. That's that's no good. Comparing to the compressor, it's much, much cleaner and faster. But the plus on these multi cutters comes when we got to deal with those kind of uh, connectors like ESA, PCI and so on and so on because as you can see I'm gonna go back to this guy in here air gun and try to cut away this ESA connector Yep, that does the job, but as you see, it's struggle, uh, and I got to put a lot of force to it, and yeah, that's the end result. Boom, let's take a look at this one. That's of course uh, need a little bit practice before you get into the perfection, but as far as you reach the right spot with the knife, it go like in the butter. Look at that. Boom. No force pushing, it just go through. As well, one minus of that, it doesn't have anything sticking out to grab with the pliers or cutters or whatever you're using to peel the pins out. So that's the negative on that. But as far as you're doing as I do, and I decide to crush all that uh, plugs to the small crumbles like do I have it somewhere here? I guess so if you're gonna plan to crush it into such a type of materials then it's gonna be totally fine and you save a lot of energy uh, comparing to the compressor because those crushed materials gonna end up in the acid as well but it doesn't gonna be like bulky two three or four pluggies in one uh, jar this is like let's say granulated and it doesn't take so much volume and yips just something like that as well ID connectors and so on one more test why not That's how fast and how easy and the blade this blade is uh, designed for metal so and this is only just brass or copper something like that and yeah that's the end result three seconds of work i guess but as well a little bit mess of plastic and dust as you can see but comparing to the air gun these connectors are going much better with this thingy than heat gun if I try to get this I see, I will use this guy because it is like boom, it's gone. No dust, no particles, and yeah, all of, all what I need to do with that thingy, it is just cut the gold finger. And yeah, I did depopulate all that ports or slots with no time. Just using that thing. So thanks Irish for tip, uh, I'm not gonna use it to 
total depletion, but for the slots and that stuff, it is really doing a good job. So, ladies and gents, and that's that's my conclusion on another way of depopulating of circuitry. Hope you like it, hope you enjoy it, and hope you will test it out for yourself. Oh yeah, this is some kind of server, and they are actually only pushed through. Yeah, let's check it out, why not? Just a quick test. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, but still, plenty of them are peeled off, so the push through aren't so well, but as well I hit the plastic in here and I got to cut through the plastic, then I go into the circuitry PCB in here, and then I go in too high because the plastic lifted up, lifted up, and as well, a little bit dust created, let's check out this guy there we go plastic lifted up uh, almost empty yeah it is totally empty plug and all pins are all over the place but yeah for the push through pins I think this is gonna, the air gun gonna do better job and yeah, so ladies and gents, that's what we call testing stuff on the different materials. So, one more time, hope you like it, hope you enjoy it, and see you all at the next one. Bye for now.